Hello and welcome to the short demonstration of XFlow for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations. This demonstration will include some new features as well as an overview of the standard functionality. As you may already know, XFlow is a fantastic tool to assist with your accounts payable automation and help you get the best out of your ERP system. XFlow is completely built within the Dynamics 365 platform and certified by Microsoft. Being built in means that there are no integration issues or costs, no synchronization delays, and therefore provides a real-time insight into your AP processes. This includes scanning and interpretation, online approvals, workflow, as well as historical data. Let's open up Dynamics 365. Please note that typically most of what I will show you now can and should be automated, but for demonstration purposes, I will show you step by step. Batch jobs exist to schedule and automate everything I'm about to show you now. Firstly, I want to point out that XFlow supports intercompany or cross company, meaning that you don't have to log in and out of separate companies. You can do it all from one form. Just by pressing cross company here on the top left and selecting show all companies, I can then see all companies to deal with. XFlow uses information gathered, such as the vendor's bank account number, IBAN, telephone number, and so on, to identify the vendor. There is a new vendor ID rules form where you can set up your own rules, even if you have a combination of unique identifiers to find the correct vendor. Firstly, and most importantly, you can always see an image of the invoice on the right-hand side of your screen. This can be toggled on and off by saying show or hide invoice side by side. If you would like to hide it to save some screen real estate, you can select general, hide side by side, and then you can still always show the fact bar and preview the invoice in a smaller form factor. Okay, so let's have a closer look at one of the invoices here. I'm looking at invoice 312066. This has been imported, scanned, interpreted, and now within Dynamics 365. I'm just gonna hit edit. I can immediately see that this is a non-purchase order invoice. There is no purchase order number, and the line type is of ledger. I can also see on the dimensions tab page that this has been coded to account number 8210 and associated dimensions. On the approvers tab page, I can see that the current approver is a user called AXEDU01. Let's for example change the price and hit suggest approvers. I can now see that the approvers are still AXEDU01 but also 03 and 04. This is because 01 did not have the signing limits to approve such a large amount. The approval chain can be as simple or as complex as your organization requires. XFlow utilizes Dynamics 365 workflow, position hierarchies, signing limits, or a combination of all of these. As an example, let me split this line into multiple lines. I'm going to change the price. For example, I want this one to be 200, and I'm going to say add a line. XFlow automatically calculates the difference, which saves you time. I can then code this line, and let's say it's a type of project instead of ledger. I'm going to choose the project, and then I'm going to choose a project category. For this line now, it has no approver, so I can suggest approvers, and based on the setup in the background, it's going to suggest an approver for me. An invoice like this will trigger an email, which looks something like this. It is color-coded to be red for invoices that are overdue, yellow for almost due, and so on. The approver needs to only click on the hyperlink to be logged into the approval portal. This portal is available within Dynamics 365 as a workspace, but also via a device agnostic portal. This means that you can use it on any of your iPhone or Android devices. From within the portal, the user can approve, reject, put on hold, forward to someone else, add comments, and many other functions. Of course, only if they have permission to do so. For a more detailed demonstration of the approval portal, please have a look at that video on YouTube. Let's have a look at another invoice, 001339384. We can straight away see that this is an invoice linked to a purchase order. It has line types of item. XFlow has used all the standard dynamics, three-way matching, two-way matching, tolerances, whatever you set up in the background, and found this purchase order and lines and matched them to the invoice. The charges that were on the invoice but not on the purchase order were also matched as they were within tolerances. Let me post this invoice and have a look at the results. Let me have a look at the message details. The invoice has been matched and matched without differences. Let's take another example. Let's look at number 00135 What I can see here is that the invoice has a purchase price of $781. If I jump to the purchase order, 
and look at the line details. I can see that the purchase order itself was only for $642. Therefore, again, according to the tolerances set up in standard Dynamics 365, this should result in a price variance. Let's post this and have a look. Now we can see this has been matched, but with differences. If we jump to the documents form or the approval portal, we can also see this particular invoice has no match on this line and the matching comment price variance. This means that it's gone out for approval as it can't be system approved. And we can also see who the current and future approvers are. You may have noticed that the charges line freight was automatically approved. Again, this is based on the parameters. Let's look at one final example, this time with a quantity difference. Let's look at the invoice number 00160 I'm just going to post this and let's look at the results. So we see here that it has a result of matched with differences. So I'm going to jump to the documents form and I can see here that this item has the status of no match and a matching comment quantity variance. So what's going on here? In this example, the original purchase order has not yet been received, but we've got an invoice for the goods. So now XFlow will wait before bothering the approver until the goods arrive safely. Let's jump to the PO and receive the goods. I'll just go to receive, product receipt, put in a product receipt number and press OK. So now what would happen in the background is this XFlow batch job would be running every half hour, hour or day. Auto match purchase order invoices on arrival of goods. So I'm just going to run that manually. So what's happened now? This invoice has been automatically approved because the goods have now been received. All other criteria matched according to all the rules and tolerances and no one has to do anything. It goes without saying that XFlow manages delegations, for example, if I'm sick or on leave or escalations, meaning that if I do not do my approvals within a number of days, it goes to someone else in the approval chain. I want to add three more very quick and important things. Xflow supports agreements, meaning that an invoice that is not linked to a purchase order, for example, for rent, electricity, mobile phones, etc., can be automatically approved in the system. These can be simply set up for this vendor, this agreement number between this and that date range, with these tolerances, with this invoice recurrence between this amount and this amount total between that date range, it can be system approved. As another example, we have posting proposals. This enables you to automatically pre-code an invoice based on your criteria. We have an invoice from this vendor with this reference. It can automatically split the amount across multiple accounts and dimensions. This can also trigger a ledger accrual meaning that it can split into multiple ledger financial periods. Last but not least, a very nice feature is the ability to create your end of month accruals automatically. This looks at all the available information of your imported invoices, creates an open journal for you to review, and once posted will automatically reverse it on the first day of the next period. This can save some companies many hours, if not days of work. I'm just gonna run this function. I'm gonna hit okay and it's gonna create a journal for me. Number 65, so I'm gonna to jump to the general ledger. Here we have number 65, I can look at the lines. So this has created a journal according to all the information that Dynamics 365 has with all the imported invoices. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, please contact SignUp Software directly or your Dynamics partner.